let's press S again. And look at that. And we're back to slow. So that is just using use and unuse to add and remove components. Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy. And in this video, we're looking at Kaboom.js and how to add and remove components dynamically. So that means you can add components that do different things, like maybe some power-ups or something else. And then when that's finished, remove it. But before we get started with that, if you enjoy our videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on game dev on the web. It is also the best way to support the channel. Now, this video is gonna be using Kaboom's Bleeding Edge Next version. Now, depending on when you watch this video, the next version will already be out. So now what we're talking about is the version after version 0.5 or sticky type. So if you're already um, seeing that Kaboom JS has passed that version, you can just do normal npm install Kaboom and you don't have to do npm install Kaboom at next. But the exact syntax may be different depending on which version of Kaboom you are using. But the concept should be the same, so the code should work anyway. But that's just a note for you guys that we're using Kaboom at next for this video. And it may be a little bit different depending on when you're watching it. Now for dynamic components, let's say, why would we? So for things like temporary changes, like power-ups that we mentioned, let's say your character gets dizzy or you went to the inn or uh, the bar and got drunk and you know, the movement is a little bit wacky now. That's a temporary thing. You can just add that component to your character. And if they have coffee or some special tonic and remove that component, so not drunk anymore, you know, a poison effect. If someone poisons your character and they got to turn a little bit green and kind of like start spewing things out of their head or, you know, like these little green bubble pops. So note that they're poison or, you know, purple maybe. Um, you can do that and poison will only last a certain amount of time or until someone uh, heals your character to get rid of the poison. You can just remove that component when that does happen. Also, of course, weapon and gear changes. So if your component, uh, rather your character, has a small gun and then they pick up a larger gun, you can uh, equip that component for that gun logic and remove the smaller gun logic or you know whatever it may be, magic spells, however it could be. Uh, different equipments you want to attach to your character. So there's many reasons to add and attach components dynamically after your uh, character is created. Now we can do that in Kaboom using the use and unuse functions. So here's an example. We create this character. This is our Fauna character. Uh, we're taking the code for this video. It's actually from our character movement and animation video. So be sure to check out that video if you haven't already to get a feel for how we set everything up for the movement. That's what we're going to be using in this video uh, to demonstrate adding and unadding components. So back to this, we once we have our character, we can use the character use, give it the component we want to use. And then to remove it later when we no longer need it, you can do character.unuse with the component ID. So that's where it gets a little bit uh, maybe tricky. You need to give your component an ID if it's your own custom component. And all of Kaboom's built-in components do have an ID already. So now let's just see how we can just do this in the code. All right, so the code here should look familiar if you watched our character animation, movement and animation video in Kaboom.js. If you haven't, this may not look familiar and you may not know what's going on. But let me just give you a brief view of what's happening. This is our character movement scene. We create our character here at the very top. We start playing our idle down, facing down animation. Uh, we're gonna put this in later. Then this is on the action, every frame, we check for input and we do our movement logic here. The exact way we did this, we uh, covered in our movement and animation video. And of course, we also went over how to load our sprite sheet and then specify our animation. So definitely go check out that one if you have not. Now for our adding and removing components dynamically, to do that and to facilitate the speed boost that we're gonna do, we're adding a speed boost component to give our character a three times X speed and just turn it red uh, for, for fun, really, just to show you how you can do this. And so what we've done here is actually in our component added the speed component. Now we're doing that and we're making the speed a component so that in our speed boost component, we can change this value 
And then when we move our character, so that's down here in the dot action that updates every frame, instead of having this default to two in our previous video, we're gonna make this get speed. So that will just be whatever speed we want it to be. Now let's look at our speed component. It's very simple. We've got it up here. It's just function speed. Uh, we started at two and then we just return an object that gets merged into our character or our entity here. Uh, we do a get speed function and a set speed function so that we can change the speed as we need. Now in the speed boost component that we have here, what we're going to do is uh, we need an original speed. So we're not going to go over the exact logic for this too deeply. But I'll show you how it works, but I'm not going to code this one up. We're just going to only cover the use and unuse components uh, for this code example. But in our speed boost component, we're going to have an original speed so that we know what the speed was before this component was added to our character. And we have a little cleanup function here to set it back to the original speed once our power boost or power up is over. Now our component here is this object. Now we got to give it an ID. So that was important for the unuse function to have an ID to pass into to remove it later. And so add is the normal add hook that gets called uh, by Kaboom.js for any uh, component that you add. And when we do add, what we're going to do is get the speed that we're currently using, set that as our original speed so that we can set it back later. Then we're going to triple our speed by doing set speed, original speed times three. So we're going to move really fast. So now what we're going to do is going to add a color component here to change our character to red. And then when we, after three seconds, we're going to do wait for three seconds. We're going to remove this speed boost component and our color component. So let's actually uh, use this here to show you how to do dot use and dot unuse. So to do a color component, we're going to do this dot use. And we're going to put in the color component here. We do need a reference to that component. So let's just say const C color. And it's going to take in let's see color. So we want red, which is 1, 0, 255, 255, 0, 0. Okay. We're going to do use C, which is the color component. So now we newly add this color component onto whichever entity that has the speed boost component. So now when we come down here, I'm going to remove our cells, which is the first thing. So the speed boost component will be added further down when we press the S key. But when once we've added it, we do want to remove our cells. So we're going to do this.unuse comp.id over here. So that's going to be here, this speed boost ID. And then for the color, we're going to do if c.id first, because id could be undefined here based on the Kaboom.js TypeScript typing. So we're just going to do a check there. And then if that is an id, we're going to do this.unuse c.id. So that'll remove our color component. And now we're going to make sure we clean up when we remove it ourselves. And if someone else removes us, this component, we want to also clean up. Now let's come down here to character movement. So this is the key press S that I was talking about. Here, we're going to add our speed boost component to our Fane character. So let's come here, Fane dot use new menu. speed boost like so. Okay, now let's give this a try. Okay, so we're here. Basic movement still works. Let's press the S key, turn green, and we are super fast. And after three seconds, it timed out and we got reset back to normal speed. Let's press S again. Look at that. And we're back to slow. So that is just using use and unuse to add and remove components dynamically as things change in your game. Okay, so that's adding and removing components dynamically, like the speed boost component that we have here. And um, let me know in the comments below what interesting things you want to do now that you know how to add and remove components dynamically in your Kaboom JS game. And if you enjoy our videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on making games with Kaboom JS and other web technologies. Thanks for watching.